Google Pixels always had flaws that made it difficult to choose them. They were only pure Android phones with optimal AI features. But the Google Pixel 7 Pro is a phone that in addition to being Google and has the best software, has added features and solved problems that can now be called the best Google phone or even the best Android phone. This is the Google Pixel 7 Pro review, so let's do it all. Pixel 7 Pro weighs 212 grams and its thickness is 8.9 mm and its size is 6.7 inches. The back and front panels are protected by Gorilla Glass Victus and the middle frame is made of aluminum. As it is now, the 7 Pro is not a light phone at all and the weight of the upper part is a little more than the lower part. But because of the curved frame, it is not a 9. The back panel is almost shiny and it absorbs fingerprints. The camera frame is polished aluminum, which now conveys a much better feeling, is more beautiful and absorbs less scratches. Everyone has their own taste in the design, but in my opinion, it has an iconic and minimal design that I personally like. The front panel has a slightly curved display with a punch-hole selfie camera on top of it. The curvature of the screen is less than the previous generation and now it is more pleasant. It conveys a good feeling and you don't experience many unwanted thoughts. Like all flagships, there is an IP68 standard in this device which has made it completely waterproof. Pixel 7 Pro displays OLED with 2K resolution and 512 ppi pixel density which supports HDR10 plus content. The contrast and sharpness of the display is excellent, the colors are close to reality and the white plants is accurate. The brightness of the screen reaches 1500 nits and there is no problem to see the content under sunlight and outdoors. It is 120Hz and dynamic and can be reduced to 10Hz. In the previous generation, the refresh rate was not reduced at the right time and the frame drop was noticeable. But this problem has been solved. The optical fingerprint sensor under the display is still not very fast and you have to hold your finger for a while. But now it is more accurate and the phone unlocks. There is also face recognition with the selfie camera, which unlike others due to Google security chip, it is reliable. The camera has always been a place where pixels create masterpieces with software. Now unlike previous years, the camera hardware has also improved. The main lens of Pixel 7 Pro is 50 megapixels, Ultra 12 megapixels, and Prescope lens is 48 megapixels with 5 times optical zoom. By default, photos are recorded at 12.5 megapixels. The details and sharpness of the photos are wonderful, the colors are slightly saturated but close to reality, and the dynamic range is also excellent. But sometimes the processing done on the photos is not pleasant. You also have the ability to shoot raw photos, which gives you accurate colors and normal dynamic range. In portrait photos, the subject is well separated from the background, and the background blur is extremely natural and pleasant. The photos in night mode have a good contrast and dynamic range, the details of the dark parts increase, and in general the photos in night mode are great but not very natural. Ultrawide right photos have a wide viewing angle, the colors are very close to the main lens, but the photos are a little soft. This lens is also equipped with autofocus and is capable of macro photography. The processing of macro photos is a slightly different from ultrawide. Right. Detail and sharpness are excellent and colors are a bit more saturated. The photos with 5x zoom show the details well and the color processing is very similar to the main lens. Google has tried to create a balance between the lenses and improve the quality of all lenses. And by the way, it was successful. Also due to the number of pixels of Prescope lens, you can zoom up to 10 times without losing quality. Also the noise will increase a little and the detail will decrease. Also Google has added the zoom like feature that we saw before in the Galaxy S21 series to experience a smooth zooming. Pixel 7 Pro selfie camera is 10.8 megapixels, selfies have excellent face processing, the dynamic range is acceptable, and the colors are slightly saturated. The main and Prisco plans use OIS and the phone is capable of recording 4K video at 60 frames per second. The performance of the stabilizer and autofocus is quite satisfactory. Also Google has added the live blur feature, which I would like to say is a copy of Apple, but Apple has also copied the Samsung portrait video feature. It's not bad, but it's interesting, you know? In terms of hardware, the Pixel 7 Pro does not have much raw power compared to its competitors. 
It has a Tensor 2 chip and 8 or 12 GB of LPDDR5 RAM. Tensor 2 CPU cores has not changed much compared to Tensor 1. The GPU has become more powerful and the processor architecture has become 4 nanometer and more optimized than the first generation. Because of pure Android, everything is done smoothly and without lag, and it also performs heavy tasks well. The heating and performance loss is less compared to the previous generation, but it is still noticeable in heavy use. But what makes the hardware of this phone special is the AI section and the extra security chip that makes the feeling of using pixels more special than any other phone. Google Assistant, voice typing, live translating, photo translating, AR and anything you can think of that is related to AI, this phone is best adapted to it. You can easily have your conversation in text form with minimal mistakes even if the phone is in your pocket. The ability to separate the subject and magic razor in Pixel 7 Pro is fantastic, but about the unblur feature, it can sharpen the free blurry subject, but in general it is helpful. Pixel 7 Pro comes with Android 13 and 4 years of software support. Android 13 has a pure, minimal, simple and a smooth environment and it is not a game changer compared to 12. The Google Pixel 6 Pro battery was not satisfactory, but the 5000 mAh battery of the Pixel 7 Pro is so much better due to software optimization and a better chip architecture that in semi-heavy usage it works for a full day without the need for a charger. There is no charger inside the box, but the Pixel 7 Pro supports a 30 watt charger and it takes 1 hour to charge up to 80%. But in order to maintain the health of the battery, the remaining 20% takes more than 30 minutes. The Pixel 7 Pro speaker is a stereo and has good volume and the sound suppression is also done well. But uh, there is not much bass. Generally, the Pixel 7 Pro is no longer just a phone for Android geeks. In addition to software features and powerful AI that you may not experience on any other phone, this phone also has the features of a powerful flagship. And in my opinion, if you are a person who makes the most of the software features of your phone, the Pixel 7 Pro at $899 is just fantastic. And of course, if a bunch of features don't matter to you at $300 cheaper, the Pixel 7 Pro is officially the most valuable phone of 2022. I really love the 7 series. Nice job Google. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like it and if you like my content, subscribe to my channel. Goodbye, see you next video.